as you can see, we are starting off in this dark, candlelit cathedral with some mysterious blue torches ahead of us. So let's get exploring here. Okay. Well, so there are stained glass windows on either side with beautiful rays of light coming through. Quite a few swords along the wall as well. The center is lined with blue flame torches, which are also decorated with swords. The brick is very dark, and to be honest, it looks a lot like Deep Slate from Minecraft. Another look here at the torches and the stained glass window. Light coming through is so beautiful. Check it out. I don't know why, but earlier when I was looking at this level, I could almost feel the sun rays on my face like a really soft, light piece of fabric just being brushed over my face. See if you experience anything like that. I just thought it was so gorgeous. Up here at the top of the stairs, we have some green banners along with what looks like a rug hanging on the wall. There's also a long rug up here, and it looks like there are quite a few similar ones downstairs that I didn't notice before. Wow, check out the light coming in. There are also these little detail windows up at the top that also have the sun rays coming through them. And there's a funky, uh, like, lens flare. That's not the right word, but kind of that weird glow effect on the candlelight. Beautiful. Let's see what else this cathedral has to offer. We have one more beautiful window with the sun rays. Got some regular colored torches now. We are moving into the bedroom. More of the same motif. We have the green banners. We have the torches. The dark stone material. On the left, we have a couple bookshelves filled with ornate with gold. Here we have the bed, which is a canopy bed. There are green tassels tying up the curtains. And a black and green comforter blanket. some manuscripts and letters and some scrolls a quill and ink whoa what's this oh books okay for some reason the way they're arranged I thought this was like a jewelry box or something it's books side table, some more candles. I like how the fire looks, it's very interesting. Another torch, another bookshelf with these ornate books. A desk here with a letter and a candle. Looks like the monk was studying some local plant life. Another look at the 
this table from a different view. Wow, that book is huge. It's bound with these clasps. Wow, fancy. A couple more benches along the wall. And then there is a little secret back hallway that leads to another room. This looks to be a library. I really like these arched ceilings. They're very interesting and how they converge in this one central pillar. Very cool. Alright, many more bookshelves here and lots more desks for making manuscripts. What does this say? The right use of the ingredients. Don't mess it up. <laughs> Ooh, we have some, perhaps some blue, oh, oh, it's a crossbow. I see it now. Some blueprints for a crossbow is what it looks like to me. Bound with a green ribbon. Over here, another letter and some more local plant life. Some more books. Quite a blue glow coming from the main room. Alright, let's see what we got here. Some more crossbows. Got another manuscript on top of a map. Some scrolls. Red and green ribbons. Ooh, and check this out. A treasure map. Very nice. Very nice. And over here again, the plants with the letter. And then the crossbow with the manuscript of the right use of the ingredients. So, coming from those really dark windowless back rooms into the main area again with all the sun rays and the beautiful stained glass windows just makes me appreciate it that much more. I think it's so gorgeous. The windows are decorated with what looks like griffins, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Boy, those are cool. Anyway, so this level is called Cathedral by Lexicon. Where to next? Now we're headed to Baroque Cathedral by O.P. Cherry. If you'll remember, O.P. Cherry made the cathedral level from last video. 17th century Baroque style cathedral. Location inspired from San Giorgio Maggiore in Venice, Italy. So let's go. We have arrived in Venice. We're here to see the cathedral. Off in the distance, you can see a beautiful sailboat. It's actually really quite a large ship. It is really moving also. <laughs> that thing is booking it. Beautiful. The cathedral is right over here. This big white get a little sneak peek inside and let's head in. The swirly pattern on the bricks is kind of interesting, pretty unique. As we enter the cathedral, 
girl, you can start to see just how detailed this is. All the way up to the paintings on the ceiling. Gold details everywhere with bright, sunny windows. Gold tops to the pillars. Paintings pretty much everywhere. of a real cathedral. Palladio is considered to be the, the one of the most. Let's try that again. Palladio is considered to be one of the most influential individuals in the history of architecture. He designed Giorgio Maggiore during the Renaissance, and it was completed in 16. Period would follow until the 18th century. I really like these blue drapes with the silver frames. Very pretty. And making our way back out into the main area, you, you can see how the light kind of dully reflects off of this black marble material. It's really cool. It's not excessively shiny. There's another wing off to the right here. Oh, that looks like an area for a very special artifact. This world was inspired by the church of San Giorgio Maggiore in Venice, Italy. Yep. Oh, look at that. It's the side by side. Oh, how cool. I love that. That's really cool that they included that. Very cool. Good for you, Filippo Pagliotto. Maybe these are some of the assets that were used. Or maybe just some of his Baroque creations. Wow. Oh, that one's giving me real hunchback of Notre Dame vibes. How cool. Love that. And then, through this gauze curtain, we go out into the secret little courtyard filled with trees and accented with lanterns. Iron bar windows. 
doors that don't lead anywhere. An interesting wall detail, I guess. The lighting here makes me think it's sunset. Some more lanterns. I wonder what's behind all these windows. This uh, thing in the middle looks like a well, but um, it's not. We'll pretend that it's a well. Oh, this is a cool view. Oh, I like that. I've never seen that before. Cool. Well, guys, that is it for today. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I will catch you next time.